What the heck am I holding in my hand right here? All material is just, oh yeah, look, hold up. Zoom in, they got five guys. You know they're about to be rolling. Look at that. Cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. Money coming out of my pocket. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Nico's Property Show. What the heck am I holding in my hand right here? This is a framing gun right here, right? So that means the framers are out here. They're setting up to get my floor system installed. Look, we got wood right here. We got way more wood in the back of the house, right behind the block foundation. And I am super duper excited. I'm gonna put this down so I don't hurt anybody. No, it's not even connected, I'm just kidding. Um, I got more sense than that. But anyways, let's go this way a little bit. I want to show you what's going on here. So we got some uh, skill saws. We've got all kinds of, you know, extension cords running around. They got their compressor out here. We got our temporary power hooked up. EPV came out. We passed inspection on our temp pole. We got that out there. Matter of fact, zoom in over there. Show them that if you can guys get a quick view of that. And you saw it in the last video. So we got our temp pole set. EPV came out. They hooked it up. They usually do that the day after here in Chattanooga. I don't know where you're from if you're watching, but that's how it works here. Once the inspector comes out, make sure it's okay. He puts a sticker on it then bam you have electricity the next day so anyways they already walked around they uh, made sure they had their chalk lines they were making sure the block foundation was square so if you want to come in a little bit closer you can see this red line right here um, they did this throughout the entire building uh, so I keep saying building this is my personal house what am I talking about <laughs> like, but anyway so they chalked it out they made sure it was square and sometimes even the guy who's doing the framing the boss he was telling me that some framers will just show up they'll do it exactly what it is based off the block foundation without trying to fix anything and so then you get some walls that are crooked then the floor is crooked and then you know you might have a piece of hardwood that's like goes like this into a three inch piece starting from a one inch piece at the end of the wall so anyways i want to show you around explain a little bit here come on in here so you can see what they're setting up in here they got their boards um, and that's green wood right there so if you don't know what green wood is it's actually a wood that's water treated so that when it's raining um, when there's you know maybe snow or whatever it is it's actually treated for that so it's okay being wet so that's what's going to go along all the edges all the blocks that you see but why don't you follow me along to the back and then i'll show you the plethora of wood that's worth like a million dollars nowadays because all material is just up there <laughs> so come with me oh we got the plants check this out this right here is nico's property three hundred fifty thousand dollar custom home you see we'll use these block columns that we actually, the block masons put in. So if you wanna zoom in on some of those block columns, that's where the floor system will be resting. So anyways, we're gonna head around back. I wanna show y'all how much wood we actually have. Then we're gonna to get to work. We'll show you some awesome footage of how this stuff works, drone footage, everything like that. So come with me and we'll do that. Oh, show them the van though. That, that, that's a typical framing van right there. That, that, that is how you know somebody's about to pull up to do framing. It's either an Astro van or a GMC that looks like that. Um, they come in hot with like 14 ladders on top. But as you can see, check this out. It's either a two by 10 or two by 12. I don't know, but check this out. We got a lot of money worth of wood back here. Um, if you're out there stealing, don't be stealing, man. This stuff's expensive. Builders can't afford for people to be walking around stealing. Stealing is no good. Stop stealing if you're out there stealing materials off of job sites. Don't do it. I know your mother taught you better than that. But anyways, this is what we got here, okay? So we got a bunch of boards. We got, uh, that's our green wood down here. So I wanna give you a little bit better view. We'll walk around here. So you can literally see, they call it green wood because it kind of looks green. Um, it is water treated. And that's the kind of stuff you see at like boat docks and everything like that, where you see the wood is literally sitting in water. It's supposed to be, it's allowed to. Um, you can't just put some regular stuff there because it'll bow out, it'll get really bad and you don't want that. We got, look at this, look at this. Look, I'm six foot tall now, okay? And that's a real six foot. It's all the way up to here. We got the Advantech right here for the floor system all the subflooring right here. This stuff right here is gonna get set up. And in a day, we're literally gonna have an entire floor system. How about that? We got a bunch of two by fours right there for all the walls. Um, and 
part of my house is actually going to be nine foot ceilings and then another part of my house is going to be 10 foot ceilings so that's going to turn out really good especially in the main living space and i'm doing a lot of more explaining here i know this is a lot of talking but this part is the very intricate part of building when the framing's going up you got to remember you got a floor system coming in you got walls coming in you got a roof coming in and then you got beams running through the house you got load bearing walls you got all kinds of stuff to where you need to see is this going to work is this not going to work follow me inside the house you're going to see some of the guys who are working cameraman be careful we don't want you to drop that four thousand dollar camera or five thousand oh yeah look hold up zoom in they got five guys you know they're about to be rolling look at that you know they roll. Yeah, you're gonna be much famoso, my man. Yeah. Hey, when they got five guys, they're gonna be rolling. So they're getting all these boards in here. They're gonna get this floor joist set up and everything like that. So you'll see it all be running around here. We had these block columns two inches lower. So they're gonna put like a, a two by two underneath. And then they're gonna have that whole floor system that I talked about with all that Advantech put on top of that. So all this will be able to be walked on. So some people are like, oh, is that a basement? No, this is gonna be a crawl space. So the floor system is going to actually run right here. So if you're going to want to get under my house, you're going to make it like this. This is not for a basement. I don't like basements personally. Maybe one day I will, but right now I do not. We're going to have an awesome floor system and the house is going to be up here. I'll be chilling up top. I like that. I'll have great views and everything like that. So let's get some of this work. They're getting set up right now. Let's roll some music and just have a good time out here. Yeah. I told him I was going to bring him. As soon as he leaves, then I'll bring it for you. About 30 minutes. You've been chasing the drone way too long. Go home. She's freaking worn out, man. Yo. The guys are killing it right now. A lot of great progress going on. They're getting the perimeter of the house set out with the two by eight by 16s. That's what that actually was. Um, so that whole stack of wood y'all had over there that I was showing you, it was the two by eight by 16s that go around the edge. And if you follow me in the garage right here, just watch your footing. If you follow me in the garage right here, you'll see, this is like a really good angle. So you'll see the two by eight by 16s um, can get chopped up into any kind of pieces, obviously, but they got most of the perimeter done right now. Um, and then those huge boards right there are the floor joists. Okay, so that's where your floor is gonna be sitting on. That's where everything, like when you're walking and if it's too bouncy, that tells you that, you know, you had a little bit too much spacing, but we're going um, 12 inch centers for the inside over there, 16 everywhere else. So 16 inch on center for every, the, everywhere else in the house. And then once they get done with these, they'll be able to run all the floor joists. We're actually a few boards short. So I'm text my guy, hopefully they can get them out here, but they're working, man, a lot of progress. We're gonna have a house soon. We're gonna have a floor system at least. That's, you know, that's a start. All right, y'all, so real quick, I wanted to explain to you something that was going on. So I talked about the red lines earlier, right? So this is just the chalk line. You get, a, you get this line, it's in this little thing, you shake it up, you put red chalk in it. So that's how they shoot their straight lines. And then if you look closer, if you can zoom in here, 
not sure if you can really see with my shadow in the way, but if you can, so you can see the board is lined up. That's telling you that's where the house is square at. So all their chalk lines is telling you, okay, they measured here. You see it's going all the way down the line right there. All the boards are matching up with that chalk line. So you want your house to be square, obviously. You don't want your walls going in and out and being wonky and everything like that. Because like I said earlier, if that's the case, once you're done with the framing, your sheetrock's going to be off or your drywall, whatever you call it. Your flooring's going to be off. You'll see your tile pieces got to be like one inch on one side, three inches on another. You want a good framing crew to knock it out. You want to make sure they're actually measuring and you want to make sure that they're doing things the right way. Doing things, you know, half butting it, doing stuff like that 50%, do not do it. Find a good framing crew, make sure they're doing it right, measure it out, get it done, and let's just get some progress. Alrighty folks, welcome back to me talking too much. We got the guys in the background working. As you look to the side there, guess what we have? An entire floor system of joists. They are done with that process almost, I think probably what, 98% at this point. I'm super duper excited because they're gonna be laying down the Advantech, getting that entire thing covered up. Um, hopefully it stops raining for the next like week or so and they just knock this whole project out, but we'll just see how that goes. But anyways, come with me this way. I wanna show y'all what's going on here. So just be careful here, Mr. Cameraman. I almost just fell myself. We got drills and you name it, all kinds of hoses and everything going around. Um, but if you look here, uh, we got the center area. So matter of fact, what I'm going to do here is give you all the idea of what you're going to look like when you're walking into my house with the rendering video that I have. That just popped into my mind. That's what I love about filming. You just come up with ideas. So going into this right here, okay, front porch, we're walking in over here, literally. Let me get there. Boom, 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 boom. So walk in the front porch right here. You're gonna walk into the living room, okay? So we're gonna go in the living room area. If you get my man in the back walking back there, you got Alex back there. He just walked from the back porch, um, which was covered, and now he's going into kind of the master bedroom area, which I'll show you right here. So he's literally walking in the master bedroom. Beautiful house, okay? So I'm just skipping along, having fun. And this floor system, is gonna look darn good once it's all covered with Invantech. It already looks good, but I wanna take you to the back. We had an entire load come in again. A huge truck, we got more wood, we got more lumber, which means more money. So follow me around the back and we're gonna to get to talking about it. Alrighty y'all, so as you peek around this corner, Cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. Money coming out of my pocket. An entire truckload came in. We got more material. That's gonna look awesome. Get my man up there. Look, look at my man. We got Maestro right there with the plant. Don't fall, be careful, brother. Be mucho careful, all right? So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get these guys being careful, man. They're wild. They, were, they will literally climb anything. Just wait till like the walls go up and everything else goes up. They are wild out here. But come along this way. We're gonna show you what's going on and we'll actually enter the crawl space finally um, the right way. So as you can see, we got all this going on here, man. We got plywood, we got two by fours, we got two by sixes, two by eights, two by tens, two by twelves. We're finally done with the perimeter of the house and everything with that floorboard. Come on in the crawl space with me though. We're gonna sneak on up in here. This is what I love about a, a house without a basement is the crawl space is kind of high. So I can literally walk all the way over here and still be you know kind of squatted down without having to literally crawl through the space which is what a crawl space is for so when the guys are doing hvac when they're doing the plumbing rough in when they're doing any kind of stuff like that they don't have to literally army crawl they can come in here they can work comfortably and i can come in here and store stuff if i want to so once we actually get all this insulated as well we'll put down black plastic maybe white plastic i don't know um, at my other house, I have black, so it's going to be really nice. You can come in here, you can store stuff. It's going to be nice, like a climate-controlled storage unit, except under my house. So let's head out of here. Ah, ah. It's a little workout right there, man. My lower body. Hey, Mr. Cameron, here, come over here with me right here. I want to show them this shot right here from the corner. I want them to see if you can kind of, if you can kind of shoot at how we shot the blocks in one of our videos. I want them to see how straight that floor is. Boom, check that out. And it's kind of hard to tell in the video. So if you can throw it up a little bit higher now, look at them. 
Boom, look at that, y'all. That is awesome. So they're working, they're walking around. And once that Vantec is down, it's gonna be all just easy, running around, putting the walls up, getting everything framed up. I'm excited, so much progress is happening. This is so cool. I wanna get some really dope shots for y'all here because this stuff is exciting. This is what gets me going. This is what makes the entire process so fun and so exciting. So let's get some dope shots and let's keep progressing. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all, major progress. This right here is the Advantech. This, they're shooting the chalk lines right now. They just got done doing it. So they got lines running all the way here. They'll be able to place one board, two boards. See my man right there? He's carrying that on his back. My man's not, well, he's probably like 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, that Advantech doesn't stand a chance, okay? It doesn't matter how heavy something is, my man's got it. That's just what it is, okay? When you got a Hispanic crew out here working, they are here to get the job done. Nothing will hold them back, except like, really good food and cerveza which they always ask for beer and i'm like no agua only okay but anyways this is the advantech it's going to cover the floor system all the joists right here um it's going to be really good i'm excited this is awesome this is so dope y'all like seriously unreal look i'm gonna be sleeping right here one day all right how about some drone footage let's go to the sky Alrighty y'all, so I am so happy that y'all have watched the video to this point. I am so happy with the progress to this point. Um, they're finishing up the work, they're getting everything cut up, cleaned up, all the Advantech is getting put down. Um, and I just can't thank you enough for watching to this point. Can't wait to get the walls up. That's gonna be the next step. That's gonna be so cool because now you're just, you know, you're seeing a floor with a block foundation, but now you're gonna see this go up and then the roof go up. So that's gonna be really fun. But regardless, thank you so much for watching to this point. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you follow me across all social platforms, but especially TikTok because that's where it's easier to post. If you haven't yet, check out nikospropertyshow.com. Grab you some merch, grab a hat, a crew neck, a hoodie, a t-shirt, you name it. Show some support if it's on your heart and I will greatly appreciate it. But without further ado, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.